Make no attempt to reload your device. You are now entering the hellhole. Welcome back to the Hell Hall. Welcome back to Death Stranding. We're getting right into it here. I cannot read that. I'm adjusting my screen as we speak. Please read yourself here. The rope along with the stick are two of mankind's oldest tools. The stick to keep... Whatever. I, I came in too late. Once there was an explosion... A bang which gave birth to time and space. Once there was an explosion. A bang which set a planet spinning in that space. Once there was an explosion. A bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. I'm loath to speak over this, but there is always that concern of copyright claims. Although from what I've seen, that hasn't been an issue for Death Stranding recordings on Twitch or YouTube. I'm Internet Sensation Mick Lucifer. You are joining me here in the Hell Hall for uh, an unconventional Christmas installment. Just checking my audio. So I, I got this... Uh, I picked this up for Christmas a couple of years ago. It has become one of my favorite games of recent years, and I thought it was as good a reason as any to revisit it. With the franchise burgeoning. Love this music, low roar. A lot of us sort of discovering low roar through this game. Very sad that the lead singer passed away relatively recently. Look at this. I really hope uh, I really hope I'm not distracting you from this luscious intro. This game is beautiful to behold. It's it's design sensibilities, it's visual qualities were a big factor in winning me over pretty instantly. There's Norman Reedus. We will encounter his amazing fetus. woman
amazing landscape. Love the I love the bike design. All of this is great. Pay attention. It's been a while since I played. I don't really remember the controls. We're gonna get used to it. We'll get there. Wow. So I'm starting a new game. This is a game that I have played before. Uh, this is a game that I love so much. It's the first and only game I've ever gotten the platinum trophy for. So I was I was into this in a pretty big way. I played it pretty regularly for a while there. Yeah, I don't have controls. It's been quite a while. So basically, I, I picked this up. I guess Christmas 2020. Played the hell out of it and platinumed it. Sort of within six months, I, I think I I think I got the platinum trophy the day after my birthday, which is in July. So I played the heck out of it for quite a while. I'm very excited to be coming back. I'm, uh, I'm kind of not doing so good right now. Uh, what am I doing? The first time I played it, it was on a nice big TV screen that I stood right in front of. This time I'm on a smaller screen for purposes of sharing the experience with you, but I still think we'll both find a lot of pleasure in this game. Uh, I enjoyed it a great deal. Did, out the rain over there? did I get everything? I don't know that I did. First time I played, I was very, very thorough. Hey, it's Norman Reedus. TV's Norman Reedus. Video games is Norman Reedus. Kojima's Norman Reedus. I love the mystery of this. We'll talk more about how I got into this game. I wish I'm so I'm starting a new game. I wish I could be having that sense of discovery all over again. Controls are rumbling.
I think they're gone. <laughs> what the hell? Didn't mean to grab you so hard. Tears. A chiral allergy. So, you have dooms, like me. I've got the extinction factor, but I think you got me beat. What's your level? You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. Level two, then. What are you doing here? Trying to stay dry. Same as you. Time falls let up. My name is Fragile. Yeah, I've heard of you. <laughs> that right? Sam Porter Bridges. The man who delivers. For me? Must be tough out here on your own. Yeah, I thought Fragile Express had plenty of people. Plenty of traitors. Not much left of us now, save for a few honest folks. And on top of that, not much left of me either. Got soaked from neck to toe. I can't help you with that. I make deliveries, that's all. Central Dispatch, Freelance Contractor, Sam Porter-Bridges, Receiver is standing by for drop. Headed into town. Watch yourself. Those things never stay gone for long. Full fast forwards, whatever it touches, but it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around, Sam Porter Bridges. This game rules.
So the first time getting to this was just mysterious and thrilling. And I wish I could do it all over again, but I know what's coming, I know what it all means. So the first time I played, here's the deal, like, you know, Metal Gear Solid was intriguing enough, but I, I didn't really follow the series. I, I was not a Kojima acolyte. Uh, Zone of the Enders kind of intrigued me. Man, I'm so loath to talk over this. Going back for it. She's really going to kill the rhythm of this. This game is so incredibly well paced. That first time I played, you know, I was on the ball. I was on the ball. I was getting everything. I was doing everything. Um, this song is like perfectly timed with the the journey in. I'm I'm killing that timing right now. If you haven't played this game and you're interested, I would consider. Um, I'd consider switching off, frankly. Discovering this game for yourself is just something special. But did I, I feel like I must have missed a bunch of cargo. Let's not slow this down too much. I've done it all before. I platinumed it. <laughs> I did. I did it all. I don't know if this is the beginning of a full playthrough, but I uh, I wanted to share it with you. I'm very excited about Death Stranding and where it's going. Today we heard that Kojima Productions are working on a live-action film, so that's pretty exciting. So like I was saying, I came to this game not as a Kojima acolyte. PT, the playable teaser for Silent Hills, really got me excited. Um, I did not download it. I don't have my own copy, but I was very interested at the time, and I was sort of watching playthroughs and following all the PT discoveries, the mystery that was there initially, as people tried to figure out how to advance through PT. It was very exciting. And then obviously the whole thing with Konami and Kojima unfolded, and suddenly Kojima, much like Christian, was on his own. And I was intrigued by Death Stranding, so I watched those initial trailers. You might remember the trailer with Guillermo del Toro. Sort of, uh, he's holding the baby in the pod. He's walking through what looks like a war zone, which at the time we had no real context for. Uh, so I, I watched those, and I kind of, I kind of deduced that yes, I was interested in this game, and then sort of stopped paying attention. Which was a wonderful thing because I came into this game without a lot of intimate knowledge. And sadly, I don't know if that's possible anymore. I feel like, um, you know, even Kojima Productions, they've, they've really given the game away about this game. You've seen, uh, you've pretty much seen it all by now. But uh, I, I really loved coming to this not knowing what to expect, not knowing what anything meant. And at this stage of the game, it was just so mysterious and intriguing. And that mystery, that mystery was there throughout the game in different, different facets. There is, uh, there is a lot to this game. Its early reputation as a quote-unquote walking sim, whilst very funny, you know, does not really represent the game as I experience it and as you may experience it too, with or without me. Um, you know, I'm probably going to embarrass myself and really undermine the prospect, but I found it an incredibly intuitive game very quickly. Uh, that might say something about me and the way I work. You know, I, I enjoy a bit of orienteering and uh, organization and things like that. The the plotting of paths and things like that was very fun. 
It's actually, it's also like, um, it's not as complicated, I think, as people made it for themselves when they first got into the game. It's a pretty simple, simple set of systems. Um, a lot of automation is available. I think uh, I think people see that they can like arrange cargo on their backs and presume that that's more complicated than it is. There is a there's an automated feature that basically does it for you, and I was very happy using that. If you're wondering what these like uh, blue dots and things are, I'm using my Audra deck to scan the terrain. That tells me things like where cargo is, and in the case of this water, it will tell me where the deep stuff is. Yellow's yellow's going to be more taxing, but I can get through it. Blue is a bit easier. You can see here, just next to Sam Porter Bridges, the character I'm playing, there's a there's a small meter that's, that's tracking your stamina. The walking sim aspects, you know, I've got I can grab my my backpack on the right, on the left. I can grab it on both, and a bit like real life, you know, sometimes you might do something like that to adjust your weight, you can leverage your backpack, you do all that kind of stuff, but it's it's all very simple, the tells, you know, it's, a, it's, very, it's very system based, there are clear rules in place, and once you understand them, you can use them, if I remember... I'm trying not to get too pedantic about picking up all the cargo. I mean, this is not... Uh, if you're an obsessive compulsive completionist, this is probably not a great game for you because you're going to have to make judgment calls. You're not going to be able to take everything. Uh, and that's just a fact of the game. If you want to do it all, it's all there for you, but you're going to have to make a few trips. And plotting courses, efficiency, are really, are really aspects of this game that I found kind of pleasant. They appeal to maybe my worst nature. I'm a man who can enjoy a good list. Uh, I enjoy a bit of organization, but I enjoy organization in a in a creative context. Uh, I don't, you know, I'm not going to talk about myself too much, but I enjoy creative endeavors. I've worked in creative endeavors. I uh, I like to think of myself as a writer of sorts. Seems to be encouraging me to run. That song, uh, Don't Be So Serious, that's probably my favorite song from the game. It really does sync up with your journey very well. My my meandering kind of undermined that. The first time I played it was perfect. It was a magical moment. And uh, I'm a little bit disappointed I didn't choreograph that for you, but perhaps you'll have that experience for yourself. So here we are, we've got a lot of cargo, we get to experience the weight shifting, and that's just left and right triggers. You just, you know, you're a human being, you know how humans work. You gotta adjust your weight, that's cool. Double, double grabbing it will get you the best, uh, the best balance. But it'll also slow you down, if you wanna, if you value speed, you might wanna, you know, play around with it, but... It's, it's yours to control. And you will be able to do this without instruction. The game will tell you, but um, you'll you'll anticipate and, and work, work it out naturally as you go. You don't want to assume too much. Here we go. Let's make a delivery. I love, I love these interfaces, all these menus. Look how beautiful they are. Very beautiful, very intuitive. Do yourself a favor, get used to paying attention to, um, to holding the button down. I got a trophy there. Don't be fooled. I, I set up a new account so I could begin this new playthrough. Or, I, not a new account, a new user. What took you so long? It's not like the legend to come in late. Had to wait out the storm. Lost my bike. Sounds like you've been through the ringer. Luckily, our goods are in perfect condition. Well, you did keep us waiting, but everything else seems to be in perfect order, so 
Great work. We'll be awaiting the next delivery. So do yourself a favor. Get get used to uh, to paying attention and, and recognizing the intuitive ways that this game can op- be optimized. You can hold your button down. You don't need to go to confirmation options. Um, and and I'll explain that maybe better when it's relevant. You don't have to sit through this, but I just uh, I'd like to bask in the glory of this this readout. This UI, I, I think this is so beautifully designed. Everything about this game is just a pleasure to behold. Uh, I find it very appealing. I don't really care about the likes, let's be honest, you know. But uh, it's an interesting idea, the concept. This is a game full of incredible concepts. And um, they're all they're all very intuitive. There was a lot of sort of talk about, you know, Kojima predicting the future. The, the pandemic that came shortly after the release of the game really... Um, really enhanced the worship of the Deliverer as the hero of our times. Uh, and I like that. I like the notion of, of appreciating the hard work, the, you know, the graft, the grit, the determination of, of, of simple service people, people that, you know, sometimes get taken for granted. The delivery man brings you goods, uh, and I greatly appreciate that. And that's what this is about. But there's a lot of high concept ideas here too, and um, just intriguing, intriguing elements. This is a game that's sort of addressing uh, so many things. It's you know, it's not just about walking. It's not a walking sim strictly. There is a rich canon here of fiction. Business is going to pick up. I don't know why this thing shows up raised, but it's cool. I love the designs. Everything is so, so well done. Igor, Bridges Corpse Disposal. Sam Porter, I presume? Right. Not the touchy-feely type. Document said you had some kind of phobia. Bridges' corpse disposal? What happened? Look, gotta get a move on. I'll explain as we go. Come on. And if you don't know anything about this game, you are in for a treat. I loved not knowing what was going on here. Come and take a look. He's got a date with the incinerator. How long since he flatlined? We don't know the exact TOD, but I'd say it's been upwards of 40 hours. He wasn't quarantined. Not sick. This is a suicide. Oh, Jesus. We're just lucky we found him at all. Got him on ice ASAP, but who knows when he'll go necro. Where are you taking him? Uh, closest to incinerators to the north. This route's crawling with PTs. Sure you can't use another? I wish I could, but there's no time. Then just burn the poor bastard right here. They put all that chirillum in the air so close to town? Can't do it. Better that than trying for the incinerator. Hey, we can do this. We just need someone like you with dooms. stages of necrosis. If we don't hurry, this place is a crater. So how about it? Can we count on you? Then Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Sam. Just Sam. And I can't spot BTs. Just sends them. 
That's why we came prepared. A bridge baby, huh? With its help and you, we'll be able to stay one step ahead of them. Baby. Makes me feel like shit every time. Well, you are plugging into the other side. It freaks me out, too. Roll out! A future of gray and steel and concrete, but color as well. Much appreciated. different when I was a kid. America is a country. Anybody could go anywhere in a damn well place. No need for couriers like yourself. We have highways, airplanes, we could even visit other countries. Hard to imagine now. Here you can see the Death Stranding poked us full of holes. Just beyond all recognition. And if you were lucky enough to survive, the time ball came and washed you away. And those freaks from the beach showed up. The worlds of the living and the dead all mixed together. And that's when folks started holing up in the cities. Couriers like yourself got put up on a pedestal. Incinerator. This guy's about to pop. Shit. We're up to cut to the BTs. Get us out of here!
about that What an open. If that doesn't get you intrigued, I mean, come on.
again and I'm looking for my buddy. I gotta repatriate. Should I be looking down here? God, it's been so long I've already forgotten so much. Where the heck am I? Am I down here? I see that golden strand. I didn't actually have to do this a lot of my playthrough. Playthrough. I didn't. I didn't really die. That, w that was what. That was the way I dealt with this. Just don't die. Is that me? There I am. Whoa. He's back. He's with the living. Mmm, pleasant. So the nice thing is, is if, if you don't understand, there's so much to be intrigued by. But if you know, it all makes sense, and it's all very interesting still. Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. An explosion that will be our last. Pretty good. That's a pretty good introduction. So like I said, I didn't know I didn't know when I played this the first time what any of that meant, and I loved it. I loved getting into this game having no idea. If I could recommend anything for this game, it would be to know as little as possible. Just go in blind, discover it. This game is masterful at guiding you through the game and and just beautifully pacing itself. So there is always the next thing. You just just as you're starting to exhaust an area or a resource or something, the next thing arrives. I, it was amazing. It was really amazing. I admittedly I broke up a lot of my play play times over a long period. I was just playing where I could. Sometimes I'd fire it up, do some deliveries, you know, play play when I could. Before dinner, after dinner, that kind of thing. Get get some playtime in. But that comes a little bit later. There is there's sort of like um there's phases to the game. There is the early game, there's then the main game, and then there's sort of like a little bit extra after that, and then it's sort of open season, do as you please. Even that, that's spoiling too much. If you haven't played this game, do yourself a favor, completely ignore me and what I'm doing. Go and get this game for yourself, play it however you can. Uh, I'm playing the vanilla version. The director's cut looks fine, although some of the additions I feel are a little bit sketchy, but they also, they're, they're non-essential. It doesn't change the main game or anything like that. It doesn't change the plot line significantly. There's some extra bits that look cool. I like the extra bits of story. It's more like they add rocket packs and things like that. I, I feel like that kind of undermines the thesis of the game, but um, that's also going to depend how you play it. I don't know how much longer I'm going to go, because... This is just such a beautiful piece, and um, it might be good to continue. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stop. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm, I'm probably on the hook now. I should have stopped when it saved. That was the perfect time. You know what? I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I'm making a big call. I'm going to stop here. Maybe if I continue, I'll come back to this. And I think this will be fine. If it's not, I'll work it out. <laughs> if you think I should keep playing Death Stranding, let me know. Because, I mean, why not? It's a good game. Uh, but I definitely recommend if it's within your means to experience this game for yourself, definitely go do that. Here's my platinum screen. So I got this on July 22nd, the day after my birthday. So I guess I played for about seven months or so, eight months. Love this game. It's the only game I've ever gotten the platinum trophy for. A lot of fun. But I, like I said, I, I really recommend you, you find this for yourself. I will continue playing it at some point and leave a comment if you're watching in the archive. Let me know if you think you want if you want me to play it now. If you want me to guide you through this experience, I'll do my best. Uh, I enjoyed the heck out of it. You know, I'm I'm hook, line, and sinker. I got I got myself a little a little toy BB. I don't know if you can see that. I got it hanging on my mic. I'm wearing the shirt. I got the hat. I did it all. I love this. I love this world. It's very interesting. Uh, and so if you haven't seen at the Game Awards, uh, when was that? Very recently, uh, they announced Death Stranding 2 is coming, the sequel game. That looks really interesting. Uh, it's tough to talk about without spoiling this game, uh, but I, I presume most of you have already done. So the characters that we've seen are back in the trailer. That's pretty cool. And, uh, and of course, there's the film coming, so that's pretty exciting. I'm, I'm excited for this franchise. I feel like, um, you know, this one is keeping me going. There's so many things that are just, they're not satisfying, they're not new, they're, they're disappointing in so many ways, and for me, Death Stranding has just come through in such a wonderful way. It's so, it's so pleasurable to experience. It's just, uh, this is a special one. Uh, we don't we don't get these kinds of things as often as I think maybe we used to. We used to like in the PlayStation era, yeah, you had Metal Gear Solid, you had a bunch of them, and you had a bunch of other things, and it was all fantastic and interesting, and you had different ideas flying in, and there was a lot to enjoy. But I feel like over the last you know fifteen years, those have dwindled. Those those truly satisfying things, those things that hold up to scrutiny or present something new or give you give you an injection of style of mood of flavor those things have dried up and you know a lot things are converging too much things are simplifying too much it's um it's it's tough to find a real win and i feel like death stranding has been a real win and there's probably so many things i probably should have talked about but i didn't want to talk over the the cutscenes because they really they set the game up in such a wonderful way and like i said when i came into this not knowing a single thing about this game um the just the the bewildering sensation of of there's a body you know you know the, well even before that you know i've crashed my bike okay i gotta get my gear and then there's this this weird woman walking around she's got some kind of like leather bondage gear on or something i don't know it's got, it says fragile on it she's got some crazy you know like postmodern umbrella going on and and i'm in this beautiful landscape which i i believe is modeled off of iceland uh, which is is you know it, it, the game is set in the United States in a sort of post-apocalyptic scenario, but it's modeled on Iceland. It's very beautiful to look at, which is a great a great sense of fuel. It, it provides fuel for the game because it's a pleasure to look at throughout, top to bottom in every regard. I'm going to be gushing about design so much, and then um, yeah, you, you're you're on this this weird truck. These guys, you, there's something about dooms. Which is explained uh, a little bit earlier in text. You got to put in your birth date. The birth date doesn't actually change anything in the game, or so we're told. I almost think it would have been interesting if it did, but people are just going to game the system anyway, so it doesn't matter. But uh, certain star signs are supposedly more dooms sensitive, and dooms is relating to obviously this phenomena that's occurring. I mean, even if you're even if you're not totally sure what's going on, you've got enough. Like the the early game really. It, it tells you how to play. It gives you all the tools for the basic play and the basic details of the of the canon, of the fiction. And if you're not sure, embrace that because that was such a thrill to play this game and not know where it was going and not knowing immediately what it was all about. Obviously, there's some sort of phenomenon. There's dead bodies. 
Who's that guy that dropped down on the truck? What's he doing? Why is he shushing me? What's going on? There's some kind of giant walking around in the clouds. There's an explosion. I'm on a beach. I'm naked with a baby. The baby's disappeared. Why are there handprints everywhere? I got I got handprints on my t-shirt. What's going on? What's going on? Why is he holding his breath? Why, why is his skin going all red? There's so many questions. Uh, and it just sort of throws you in. And look, it doesn't matter if you don't know. That's the thrill of it. You're going to find out. And hopefully you'll find out with me. Let me know in the comments, particularly in the archive, if you wanted me to immediately come back to this. I don't know. I, I was I had this fanciful notion of delivering. Delivering. You know, this game's all about deliveries. Eh? 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 Uh, I, I had this notion of playing all these games that mean something to me of Christmas. Christmas is only like nine days away. I, I'll try to get to some more games, probably. I still want to play. Uh, keep playing Elden Ring. This is a very boring screen to have left it on over so lo such a long time, but it's probably more interesting than just looking at me gesturing. I don't know. If I go big, can you see BB? You want to have a look at BB? Is that, is that interesting? Oh, there, that's BB! BB! BB, I want my BB. Well, we saw Mads Mikkelsen there in, the, in that whatever happened. That's the first of many, and you're thinking, what's, what's this guy talking about? Who's BB? What's BB? Uh, who is this guy that will continue for a long time and the beauty of, the beauty of it is this game it will keep you occupied there are so many things going on there's so much going on if you already know the game you probably don't care you just think look at this guy he's he's on the hook we already know i'm gonna stop talking about it we'll we'll talk more if i play more because that'll be a lot more interesting it'll provide more context i will be back sometime soon i don't know what i'm gonna be playing I'm all geeked up for Death Stranding again. <laughs> I'm in this movie news, the sequel news. It's got me very excited. The sequel images that uh, Kojima Productions are putting out, they don't give you a lot, but they raise some questions. That's a lot of fun. Maybe we'll talk more about that. If you want to be here when we do, <laughs> smash that follow. I will try to deliver as best I can. I don't know what else you want. Norman Reedus is here and i'm leaving <laughs> i hope to see you again sometime soon adios amigos i really love this game that's all i'm saying i just i think this is a great game <laughs>